Hey guys, we just redid a painting contractor's website and I want to show you the before and after and explain to you why we did certain things in certain ways. Check it out. Hey, this is Logan Schinholster with Contractor Growth Network. And as we launch this new site, I want to walk you through exactly uh, why we changed it and what we did update and talk about what the old site had on it that we wanted to continue and then what we really wanted to change about the old site to really give them that feel of something new and different. So the, the backstory on this is this is a client out in Prescott, Arizona, and they're living in an area where it's a lot of retirement homes, right? These are people that move from California and being a former Californian, it's unbelievably expensive. So they move to Arizona because it's a little bit cheaper and they retire. However, there's a huge part of the market that they're missing out on, okay? They do very well with the older communities, but the younger demographics, meaning people who are in their 40s and 50s, they're not finding or they're not calling this client up. And it really came back down to the website. So on the old site, let me let me pull this up and I'll kind of walk you through what we saw on the old site that we wanted to change. There's a lot of normal website conventions that the old website did not well, right? The big thing is, is when you first come in, the first impression is this massive logo right in your face, right? And then the, the site that had these weird textured backgrounds, it's just, it's an old, it looks old, right? These are older conventions of websites. And because of that, it would attract older demographics of people. If you want the younger crowds, you got to attract the younger crowds. You got to show the younger people more so what they want. However, one thing that we wanted to continue was to make sure that the feel of Arizona was really apparent in this website, right? If we look at a lot of the websites that are maybe in the Northeast or on the East Coast somewhere, it's a, it's a lot of uh, whites and the overall interior design is really a lot lighter. But in Arizona, it's, a, it's still a little bit darker. You know, a lot of wood finishes, things like that. So you still have to kind of appeal to that exact area. Um, even if like the younger crowd over here are here being Charlotte, here are actually more on the whites, off whites and grays, those sorts of trends. So the old site, it was a ton of text um, and the backgrounds just, it screamed painter. A lot of people have good intentions with this where they think, well, I'm a painter, I might as well have paint brushes and stuff as the background or marble or whatever, but it actually, it becomes overwhelming and it becomes too much. All right, so we wanted to clean that up and just give it a lot more white space, right? White space is very useful because it draws the eye into what you really want people to look at. It doesn't really get crowded with all the other stuff going on. All right, a cleaner look is gonna help out big time. Again, we re still wanted to keep a lot of those um, wood feel aspects to the website. So it's not like you're going from whites and off whites over to when you actually do the work, it's a little bit of a darker um, tinge to it, if you will. All right, so that's the real big point that we wanted to get across here was keep the same feel, but rearrange a lot of it so it's a lot easier to flow throughout the whole site. All right, so that's kind of the overall theme for it. All right, so let's go ahead and go through some of the aspects of it. So first and foremost, um, we want to go for really the guiding factor. We want to guide people through this website and make it easy for them to choose what they're going after. So when you first come into this site, you have a lot of things that you can click on and you can choose. But on the new site, it's a lot simpler. You really only have a few options. Yes, there's some drop downs, but what first draws your eye is going to be this bright orange or bright red, get an estimate. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get people to call us, right? Because that's the only way that we can sell them work. But over here, you still have the red, which still draws your eye, but it's a lot smaller. This needs to be pretty pronounced, not massive where it's taking up half the screen, but it still needs to kind of show uh, or, or show your eye, hey, look up here. Okay, same with the header at the top. It's really, the white doesn't stand out as well on this. Stands out a lot more at the top over here, all right? Um, and the last but not least is when you first come in is we want to guide people to where they want to go, either schedule an estimate or learn more about the process, right? Because that's really what we want to do is we want to guide people through this whole process the same way that you would guide a sales process to the end result that you want to get them to. You want to guide them through the website. All right, and here's the crazy thing about these websites is it's like 70% of people have already made up their mind 
on whether they're gonna move forward with your company or not before they even call. So this website needs to effectively pre-qualify and let people know this is really what the feel of the company is gonna be. So the more that we can guide them, the more that we show that we're in control, the more that when the people get on the phone with you, they're ready for you to just take over. So it's a much easier sales process because the website and everything should really get that person to the two yard line and then let you as a salesman call them up and just let them know this is kind of what it all costs, this is how we do things and you're done. So that's really the goal here. Um, this has, you know, they get in touch, but it just doesn't stand out or it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't guide you as well because you have to kind of scroll down a good amount and then it's like another thing right here. This is all just nice and front and center on this first aspect of the site. All right. The next part we want to, I want to hit on is over 7,000 happy customers. Okay. 7,000 people can't be wrong about this, right? This is a psychological principle because if you, it's kind of like that herd effect, right? If this many people over 7,000 have used this company, then it must be good. So by calling that stuff out is gonna be exactly what people wanna see when they come in so they know that you're not new on the block here. All right, um, now we kinda got them down the page. We let them see if they wanna see the gallery, if they wanna learn more about the process again, learn about you, they can, but if they wanna get directly into the services, here's their shot. Choose which service you want. All right, so the whole point of the site is to let them just really get guided through the whole thing. It's supposed to be super easy. Now let me jump ahead and go to interior painting and I'll show you this interior painting versus on the old one, the big difference and why we wanted to make an update. All right, so the old one, there were some aspects of it that we, you know, that were solid. The only thing is it doesn't really paint the picture, if you will, right? What this does is this just talks about you know, it can change your entire home. Um, here's how we do it. Contact us today. Here's a couple of pictures, let us know. But what we want to do on this is we want to sell them on the idea of the interior painting first, right? One of the biggest misconceptions in the contracting world is that when somebody lands on your website, at this point, they're already sold on hiring somebody for the service. It's just whether it's going to be you or the competitor up the road, that's really what it's coming down to. But that's not the case we still need to sell them on the idea that this is what they need. They need to get their inside of their home painted. And painting is one of the hardest things to sell because especially inside the home, the only reason that people update it is really for cosmetics. So somebody's gonna pay you thousands of dollars to come in and impede on their space strictly for them to feel better, right? If it's outside the home, exterior makes sense, right? If you let that paint go too long, it'll let the wood decay, then your SOL, and now you gotta spend a lot more money. But inside the home, it's a lot different. So you need to sell them on the idea, here is why you will you want to get your inside painted. All right, so this is where we go with, with the emotion. We try to pull that out and go, love the feel of having a new space. Feel confident knowing you've enhanced your home. Enjoy having friends and family over again, right? We're trying to put those images in their head because if they're gonna go through this whole process of updating the inside of their home, they might as well show it off, which is half of the reason why they're doing it. So you wanna hit on those emotions, right? Interior painting, uh, whether it's your home or business, we understand the importance of feeling confident when you walk through the doors, um, things like that, right? Versus just saying, you know, we, from a careful selection of colors, um, you can rely on us, but we still want to kind of paint the idea that there's an emotional attachment to this, right? Every decision that us humans make, there is a motion, an emotion tied to it. And if we don't draw that emotion out of the people, then they're not going to want to move forward. Or if they do move forward, then they're going to look at this as just another painter and then they're going to go for the cheapest person. So we don't want that to happen. We want to draw it out and let the person know this is why you're hiring us. You're hiring us because we understand why you're getting this done. We understand the emotion behind it. And we let them, if they want to see it, see the gallery, go from there, check out a couple testimonials. And then last but not least, let's chat about paying my interior. So it shoots them over to that contact us page to get them going from there. All right. So the website guides you through everything. Let me show you that our process page because that'll kind of tell you that's, that's trying to prep the client or the future customer for um, what's happening next, right? Because that's what we all really want. We, we don't want to be left in the dark. We want to know what happens next. 
Now, his old site did a great job of explaining everything. How often should I, I mean, answered all the questions that we want. And what we want to do here is keep it easier, right? What's our painting process versus what to expect next? What to expect is really like, you know, when can the job begin? I kind of get that one, but as you start to go down through it, it's, are you fully insured? Um, you know, what types of jobs you specialize in? That's not really like, what do we specialize in? We wanted to make it a little bit different and go for the FAQs. And this is really the what to expect. So we have a process, but we also have a what to expect slash FAQs. So we're trying to make it easier on people because if they have FAQs, we want this the FAQs to actually be in the FAQ section versus the what to expect section. So little tweaks here and there, but it makes a huge difference to allow people to get to the exact place that they want to get to on the website. And the easier that your website is for people, the easier it is for people to get on board with hiring you because they're going to assume that perception's reality. And if your website's easy, it's also easy to hire you. And that's how it's all done. So if you're a contractor and you're in that, that boat where you're trying to attract a different type of clientele or people are always beating you up on price, trust me, the website will sell the work for you ahead of time. And then it's just your job to get on the phone and make sure you don't screw it up. If you want to learn more about this, head to contractorgrowthnetwork.com to learn all about the websites, check out some examples and current investment options. See ya.